This video shows the steps our own distribution centers took in implementing a SATO RFID system to optimize their management of demo equipment. As a first step, we learned the setting, scope and issues of the actual operation to determine suitable RFID labels and readers. 31 distribution centers and offices in Japan manage over 4,000 items that are loaned out every day as demo equipment. There were three reasons to installing an RFID system. The old barcode system involved many visual and manual checks that were time-consuming and prone to human errors. But the centers needed to handle the increasing requests for loanouts smoothly and quickly. Items varied from printers to accessories and came in different sizes, shapes and materials. We also realized there are metal and non-metal items, which need to be managed separately. Next, we visited the operation sites. We interviewed operators for issues and requests, and found four key points critical to designing this RFID system. Each item on the shelves needs to be stored with the labels facing front. Some of the metal items may not need on metal RFID labels depending on where the labels are applied. Read range differs from item to item. This third point led us to find out the fourth point, which is Some items, like printed circuit boards and cables, should not take labels. They need to be stored in a box or take tags. Considering these points, we derived the following requirements for the system. RFID labels need to be small enough to be applicable on printers and cable tags. Read range can be 1 meter, as operators are never more than a meter away when scanning. There needs to be two type of labels, standard and on metal, depending on the item. The use of less expensive standard labels would save cost. Next, we confirm software requirements. With an RFID system, you need to determine what data should be written into the RFID labels. We have our very own software to configure the RFID label data. Then we went into POC, where we verified system operation in actual settings and measured effectiveness. Read tests confirmed that a 10-second scan can read more than 90% of items in the scanned area accurately. After completing the POC, we prepared a test report to help the operators make the final assessment on system installation. And so the new RFID system was successfully installed. Here's how they operate now. When items are shipped or returned, operators simply scan the RFID labels. The scanned data appears in the system. Analyses on loanouts can be done with a few clicks. Stocktaking is completed in seconds, to be done more frequently. This RFID system has streamlined asset management procedures at all SATO offices and distribution centers in Japan. Please contact our RFID experts at SATO for professional services on RFID system implementation.